Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Coffee Talk. So, uh as I said before, I'm going to try to do like like you know, every, Coffee Talk is every Monday. I'm going to try to do one day, maybe two depending on how short the days are per episode so that that way we're not bombarded with just 15 million different episodes or 15 million different, you know, days in one episode. Everything can just c stay consistent. And uh yeah. So, let me load this. Uh, let's see. Continue.
but hey, you don't really care to order. Thank you. I'm sorry, but this is not what I ordered. Sorry. It's good coffee, though. I don't know what the fuck gingerbread coffee is. Maybe it's milk. Coffee, ginger, and milk. How's work? It's go it's going pretty okay. You? I'm not taking any new jobs at the because, well, you know. Yeah, I get it. You have enough in your savings, right? That's a very little thing to ask. But yeah, I do. The last annoying job. It went well in the end? It kind of did. They paid me on time, at least. And the pay was amazing. How long are you planning to take a break for? I don't know. Until my problems are settled, I guess. And what problems are those? I'll tell you this. Don't tell anyone, okay? Not even Cat who's staying in front of us. Not even Cat. Okay. So there's this girl. I love her. We've been going off for a few years, but I'm not really sure where we stand now. How can you not be sure? We had an argument about a week ago, and it wasn't anything new, but somehow things escalated uncontrollably. Why is that? I assume both of us were just tired, knowing that we were fighting against centuries of tradition. We haven't really talked since our last fight. Leaving things unresolved is not a good idea. But I can't remember except to start the conversation. Why? But I'm not sure about that. Pride, maybe. Or tiredness. Or knowing that chances are we won't be able to find the solution for everyone anyway. Bailey's, I have a question. Go ahead. What do you think she's feeling right now? To be honest, I don't know. She's not like me, that's for sure. Thankfully. Why? At least it won't affect her personal life that much. I'm glad I'm a freelancer. It means I can just take a break from work without so many problems. I'm not prof as professional as her, you see? I think you're wrong. Really? If I were her, I'd find it difficult to live life as usual. But I'd put on a lot of masks. Just to hide the feelings I was going through. That sounds difficult and uncontrollable. It is. But a friend told me once. If I do what you gotta do. Why? He is. What's next for us, Baileys? I don't know, Lua. <laughs> oh. I met some people this week. Including the supermodel, you knew. The girl in the corner told me. Yeah, including that supermodel. And how does that make you feel? Like a fool. What? He said a lot of things I've been trying to avoid thinking of. A lot of truths. He's a bit like you, you know? Attitude-wise. You'd get along with him. Doubt it. Opposites to check with similarities breed contempt. Ever heard of that before? A lot. From a, a, cl a certain hipster elf. And after listening to that guy, what's your stance on, you know, us? I'm not sure, Baileys. What about you, yourself? Had any similar experiences this week? I have, in fact. You met a vampire and I met a werewolf. <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds, indeed? What did your werewolf say? Hmm, not much, to be honest. You made a good point about the importance of family, Baileys. I know I've been stubborn about you wanting to m make peace with my family. And I know that's, that's very important for you. But Freya said something hard. What is it? It's just I use the excuse. I was just using you as an excuse to escape my family. And I actually want to do that anyway for myself. You know me, Baileys. I do. And you know I feel uncomfortable with people leaving their families, which makes me an asshole, I guess. I get why you think that way, Lua. Blood is thicker than water. What should we do? Uh, yes, Baileys. Please let me leave my family. I'll try to get your family to accept me. That sounds like the easy thing to do after all. But you'll lose your immortality. You'll be an outcast among other elves. An outcast from a bunch of overly pretentious people sounds great. You'll love a long time, but you won't have a perfect house and perfect life. That's the elven privilege. But it's not the perfect life without you. What if our relationship doesn't last? You have lost everything. You'll blame me. I'll never blame you for anything. If I were talking about who I used to be, the guy would never have blamed myself. A hundred reasons for why something failed, but never anything to do with him. But that would happen to us. You know why? Because I've learned so many things by being with you for ten years. It's made me a better person. So you don't need to worry about any of that. Because right now, you're the most important part of my life. I don't need an immortal life because without you, it wouldn't, it won't be a life worth living. Please, I, I believe in you. Oh. Okay. No, yeah, Bailey's. I got uh, love of my life. Love hurts. 
I mean, that's a fact. I feel like we're living in a soap opera. It seems so. So what's our plan? Tomorrow's Saturday. Are we going on a date? I'm going to my parents' place. Oh. And I want you to come with me. What? That's so sudden. Do you already have plans for tomorrow? Well, no. It's just... I'm not prepared to meet them. You'll be fine. You don't want to tell them about this first? It'll be alright. Well... I never forbade you from dating other races. They're not big fans of elves. That much is true. But you can prove them wrong. Hmm. Okay, this could be a good first step. It is. It's set then. I don't know what will happen tomorrow. But I think... But we can think about it. Anything else? Later. I'm with you on that. So, does that mean you don't mind me? I had my doubts. And now I'm sure. I can trust you. Uh, thank you. Are you still staying at Freon's place? Yeah. You're staying with me tonight. You're sleeping with them. How are you? What about your roommate? She's away for the weekend. Taking a long we can get away until Sunday night. Fate is on our side, it seems. Hey, Kat. Yes? We're leaving. Thank you with us this past week. Pleasure was mine. We're off then. See mm. you. Thank you for coming. Probably gonna for something. That was pretty intense. Oh, you're back in the real world. I just pretend not to notice. They're like one of the main reasons why I'm writing this story. So I have to see their struggle through to the end. It's important for the writing, you know? That's cold. What? Well, it's not like that. It's just that... Yeah, that was cold. I'm sorry. <laughs> you look better than before, though, for now. I can tell you how I feel until it's done. And I don't... cappuccino well anyway guys i think i'm gonna end the episode here uh if you enjoyed make sure you give it a like and leave a comment below on whether or not you want me to continue this series um also make sure you follow this channel and you know every channel that i'm on for more videos like this one uh thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one